Let's talk to Amanda. She joins us now. We've heard throughout the pandemic, haven't we, concerns about people not coming forward when they're worried about symptoms. Yes, indeed. So GPs in England were specifically told not to stop offering cervical screening appointments during the pandemic. But of course, we all know the pressure the NHS has been under. Many patients reported cancelled appointments, very long waiting times. And of course, some people were very nervous about the idea of going into a clinical setting during coronavirus as well. So hence this big push from the NHS this week, this campaign involving celebrities, really pushing this message that it's OK to be a bit nervous or embarrassed, but making the point that it really only takes a few minutes you can take a friend with you if you want to. You can ask to make sure it's a female nurse that does the screening, but that getting this screening done saves lives. It's thought that some 83% of the 700 or so deaths each year could be prevented if people had just had the screening done and those cells were spotted when they were precancerous before they developed into something worse. Well, that's a big percentage, Amanda. Thank you. Now, one of the architects of Australia's controversial